So if you identify with being a highly sensitive person or an empath, then chances are you've been struggling with low self-esteem and low self-confidence over the course of your life. This is a, a common experience uh, for those of us <coughs> that grew up uh, being told that there's something wrong with us, that we're defective, that we're too sensitive, um, we get overwhelmed so easily, all these different things that 80% um, of the population doesn't struggle with. But since you're uh, someone who really picks up on uh, different things in the environment so much more intensely, your experience has been more challenging, especially if you grew up in the United States, in places that aren't very uh, accommodating or friendly to, uh, to people that feel a lot. This was certainly uh, the case for me growing up. And so I just want to share a little bit of uh, a story of my own life to illustrate this as a way to help you understand why, uh, why it's so important to understand who you are as an HSP if you want to build your confidence. If you are struggling with low self-esteem, low self-confidence, then it's important to understand um, what it's going to take to overcome that. Because being an HSP is all about understanding the blessing that you've been thinking has been a curse. Because the truth is, you're not doomed to a life of feeling like there's something wrong with you. In fact, you are in a position to experience a life that is quite magical and profound and beautiful and uplifting and inspiring. And you get to be a powerful person. You get to be someone who can really uh, help people. You can be a healer. You can be a coach. You can be a counselor. You can be a therapist. You can be very gifted at these roles. And that's what uh, I'm really here to talk about is connecting the dots for those HSPs that have always had an interest in becoming coaches or healers, but they haven't had the confidence to take the plunge. And that's what I really um, am here to help people with because I've been there. For many years, I struggled with very low self-esteem, very low self-confidence. Um, I've struggled with depression for much of my life and, and anxiety. And it wasn't until I found the path of becoming a coach and working more as a healer that my self-image started to actually shift in a meaningful way. I went through uh, my whole life feeling like I wasn't really good at anything, that, that I was just, um, yeah, there's something wrong with me. And it wasn't until my mid-30s that things started to actually change when I finally took a chance on myself to um, step out of the corporate world and step into a line of work that's that's been very well aligned for me, the, the role of coach, counselor, healer. And it's made all the difference. And so here is why it's so important to understand what your gifts and talents are. Because if you've been feeling like um, you're just struggling in life because you can't handle these different situations like large crowds or aggressive uh, managers or um, just insensitive people in general, well, this, this part is going gonna, is gonna to make a difference. Because by virtue of your being so sensitive, you also have these superpowers, gifts of strong intuition, of empathy, of being able to really understand what's going on for other people, having this sixth sense of knowing when somebody might be feeling off or might be in need of, of help but they're not asking for it, or whatever the case may be. 
If you're an HSP, <clears throat> I want you to know that you have these superpowers. And you probably don't truly understand what that means. If you're anything like me. Because I never understood that I had this strong intuition. I went my whole life with not really understanding that I could know uh, know how to help somebody who's who's struggling just intuitively and to trust that the guidance that I might offer would be very uh, helpful. And that's exactly what's happened as I've stepped into uh, this new role uh, as a coach. Once I made that transition, I, these superpowers started to come online. But it didn't just happen on its own. I needed help. And I was very lucky to work with some coaches, one in particular, that did a really good job of pointing out to me um, my abilities. Because I couldn't see them for myself. I had made the mistake of uh, diving into coaching without having enough confidence in myself at that point. So the first year was a struggle. Um, I was nervous trying to guide people. Um, I didn't know, I just didn't trust myself. I didn't trust um, my, my guidance as much as I would have liked. And so it wasn't a very, you know, it wasn't the most pleasant experience. I, I was helping people, sure enough, but it lacked the magic that came online after I developed that confidence. And I have to tell you, it's changed my entire life. I'm a completely new person by, by virtue of the fact that I now identify with being very special in these ways. I've been coaching for many years now, and I've worked with so many different clients and I've been able to witness these gifts and talents um, happening in service of people that are really struggling, really in, in desperate need of, of help, of, of a transformation, of a breakthrough of some sorts. And the more coaching that I was getting that was helping me understand um, my greatness my abilities, my natural gifts and talents that have been there this whole time, that, that changed everything for me on the coaching side. My business improved, um, but more importantly, the results my clients were getting were going through the roof. For, for years, I was helping people with their job search and with career change. And at the start, it was more about just helping them with the strategy. And yeah, they would interview more effectively and understand how to network for good job opportunities, which was nice. But it wasn't the reason why I decided to become a coach. You know, I really wanted to help people find happiness and peace of mind and, uh, you know, understand how to walk the personal development path and, and have better relationships. And that's what ended up happening. I ended up working with people that were in such despair, such challenge in their whole life that was impacting their career, the job search, the interviews and everything else that I, I started doing work on a deeper level. The more I trusted myself, the more I was able to witness this this personal magic that, uh, that I can cultivate because I have these superpowers as an HSP and an empath. The same superpowers that undoubtedly you have as well under the hood. So that's, that's what this is about. It's about learning how to reach under the hood or at least see under the hood and appreciate uh, what's there? Because you've got a <laughs> you've got a V12 engine down there, a powerhouse that may never have seen the light of day. That was that was my uh, the case for me. 
And so just imagine what, what that can do for you. When so all of a sudden, you're, you're helping people in very powerful ways. You're helping to manifest these incredible breakthroughs and turnarounds. I mean, I've watched so many clients go from being in the worst rut of their life to being the happiest version they've been in a very long time in a span of one to three months. Very quick turnarounds. Now, how is this possible? How am I able to do this? How will you be able to do this? Well, it's understanding the superpowers that you have of intuition, of empathy, of listening, of communication, of intuitive guidance, of all these things that on some level you know are there, but you haven't fully claimed yet. And it's in the claiming of those superpowers and the, uh, the use of those abilities in service to, to others that you find this newfound confidence. And this confidence changes everything. Because now you get to walk through this world as someone who believes in themselves, that understands that there's something very special and powerful about you. Because if you spend a lifetime feeling weak and inadequate, a big piece of the puzzle has been missing for you in terms of your own um, self-image, self-confidence, self-esteem. So that's what I want to leave you with today, guys, is that understanding your gifts and talents as an HSP changes everything when it comes to building your confidence and building your self-esteem. And if this is something that is re resonating with you because you would also like to become a coach or a healer, but because you're lacking in the sufficient confidence to believe in yourself enough to really go for it, then, then let me know. And there's uh, going to be a link in the description to book a free career clarity call with me where we'll have a chance to uh, talk about what it would look like for us to work on this, to start developing your confidence and getting you ready to take action on this new direction of living in alignment with your true nature so that you can work as a coach or a healer. And for everyone else, please make sure to like or subscribe to this channel to make sure you're going to see all the new videos coming out next. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.